We are discussing sandblasting and using high or low pressure versus the media that we're using and why you would want to do either or. Depending on the part you're actually blasting, softer metals, you want to use a lower pressure, at least initially starting off with. It's always easier to move up in pressure than it is to move down in pressure. If you're going to blast something you're not real sure about it, start at a lower pressure. Your abrasive will play a factor in this to where a glass bead is a, a hollow round bead versus say a a aluminum oxide, which is an angular shaped piece that has that cutting edge to it. Anytime that you're blasting, like I said, your best bet is to start at a lower pressure. If you're using soft materials, low pressure, probably want to go with something less aggressive. Now, if you're trying to put a texture on the surface, you could use an aluminum oxide to texture that surface to be ready for a paint. But as far as your pressure, we're always going to start at a lower pressure. We'll move up to a higher pressure as needed and your abrasive is basically your breaking point. You don't want to use real high pressure with like glass bead, it's just going to shatter it that much quicker. To wear an aluminum oxide, it'll do the same thing. It'll, it'll make it go away faster, but it will give you a faster cleaning process.